In terms of the technical planning, I would say that the Ministry of Health and the Ghana Health Service and really the entire, they call it uh, the entire it's agency, ministerial. the ministerial, they've done a lot of technical planning, mm. which is not 100%, but something has been done. In terms of pulling the population along and a critically essential part, what has been done is virtually nothing. At times of crisis in any nation, you want one voice, one clear, single, authoritative voice. And I was called by the Select Committee on Health, and I have called for that as well. That I told them the same thing, that Ghanaians want to know that if I have any anxiety about Ebola, I call this particular agency. However, government does it, it's not for us, but it's for government to ensure. Because there's too much noise. Everybody's talking about Ebola. So which one are you to trust? The whole point of having a nation is that we have a leadership, and the leadership gives us one single source of information on Ebola. I think we shouldn't do things haphazard. It must be clear, it must be consistent, and it must have a basis. Ghana says we have now banned all international conferences for three months. Mm -hmm. Conferences are going on. What are we doing to check it? I pray there is no case. But let's prepare. Should there be a case in Ghana, and should they ban international travel? Do you know what that would do to Ghana's economy? You know, so when people sleep quietly and comfortably in the face of all this, I get worried. What we say is that we must be seriously anxious. We must put in place enough programs and plans and rehearse them. You know, we, we must be seen, in fact, we must be uncomfortable in getting solution. Right now, we are running normal mode. And you are seeing what is happening around us. Are we waiting for something to happen, then we rush? Any decision done at that time is wrong.